My name is Catherine Hanna, and um, I have um, valley fever and also a mycobacterial lung infection, which I had before the valley fever. And um, I was told by my doctors that I needed to take antibiotics for, for an extended period of time for the mycobacterial infection. So I was on these two heavy-duty antibiotics for two years, and the mycobacterium was still, I was still testing positive for it, and was still having all the symptoms that I had originally, only they were getting worse. So um, I was starting to feel a little bit desperate, and um, a friend of mine who had been to Dr. Joseph, um, whose, whose mother-in-law had been to Dr. Joseph, um, with good results, recommended hydrogen peroxide. So I started coming here, and um, since I've been, I think this is my sixth treatment, and since I've been getting the hydrogen peroxide treatments, I've noticed two things. I have more energy and I'm more positive. It's very noticeable. Um, and. I'm more action-oriented. In other words, before I was feeling such extreme fatigue that um, I would have lists of things to do, but I wouldn't have the energy to do them. So I would feel constantly frustrated because I just couldn't take action in my life, you know. Um, so since I've been getting the treatments, though, I've been able to, you know, have an idea and actually do something about it. <laughs> um, after being on the antibiotics for two years, and noticing that I'm not really getting any better, and the doctor that I was, the pulmonologist, wasn't really holding out much hope for, I mean, at the at the very best, the chances of being cured by that by that course of treatment is is only 50 percent anyway. So um, I just at that point I just his thing was well you're going to have to be on antibiotics for the rest of your life. And when I heard that I said mm, I don't think so, because I was having to be constantly tested for liver damage, for eye damage. Um, I mean, they're very, they're very toxic. And I was getting alarmed that I'd already been on them for two years, you know. So I just, I just sort of, on my own, I just sort of made a judgment call that I'm stopping this right now. I'm not going to continue it. And I realized that it's, it's up to me to heal myself. It's up to me to f determine what treatment to, to, to pursue. I mean, I think I really started getting in trouble when I got health insurance. I know it's a strange thing to say because everybody wants health insurance, but when I got into the system, you know, that has to do with drugs and 15-minute um, appointments where they don't really look at you and see what's going on, you know, all that stuff. So I feel as if I'm sort of taking my power back now and researching and making decisions that I think are much more oriented toward healing rather than you know, the pathology approach where you try to kill the pathogen, you know, by drugs. Yeah. Um, one of the things I experienced in the um, existing healthcare system is the 15 minute appointment where the doctor has that amount of time allocated for each patient and may or may not really be able to zero in on what's going on with you or take, or take enough time to determine what's going on with you. And um, when I came here and I met Dr. Josephs, my, my partner and I, after we left, we said to each other, that's the first doctor that we've encountered that we felt really cared. You know, I just felt he really cared. And he was present and he was being very human. He wasn't like up on trying to be the, the God, you know. He was just another human being who has enough knowledge and background to be able to help people with this kind of thing. So uh, that really encouraged me. I felt the human touch. And I hadn't had I hadn't experienced that for like two years with these other doctors, yeah. And in fact, I'd experienced what I would say is a fair amount of sort of unconsciousness and incompetence in the doctors, where I, I felt like I had to sort of fight for um, just basic uh, services, you know. So this is different, and it was very noticeable right away. That's pretty much my story as of this moment in time, and I'm going to be getting three more treatments, so I'll have ten, and then we'll review and see where it is and if it's necessary to do more.